right, so we'll just start where we start, which is uh, tell me how you got to this place in art and what made you become an artist? Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the just like kind of the beginnings of me getting into art, actually, it was it was more so just I, I was basically just doing music all the time. You know, I was I'm a guitar player, singer, uh, producer, basically. So basically, like um, I got into audio engineering and just all of that. But the funny thing is, is I, I, I had like a band rehearsal space in, in this, you know, in a city called Torrance and and just uh, the places just I used to call it my personal Abbey Road. And basically all the, all the walls were just completely graffitied up art all the time. People would come in and just completely cover the place. I still got pictures of the place. It got, it got torn down like a couple of years ago. But um, but basically during breaks, I always had time to do art. So I'd always have canvases in the in the studio room. So everybody was taking breaks, cracking beers or whatever. I, I just I just would go nuts. So there'd be paint all over the place. Um, and actually that was the, during that time, that was when I was getting into uh, crypto in the beginning, it was like 2014. And um, I mean, on the side, I have my laptop and just looking up, you know, just basically, I mean, it was, it was mostly finance stuff. So, you know, I was just basically just checking it out and just testing the technology and just kind of blown away by it. And like, that's kind of like the normal story with everybody, you know? Yeah. And so, um, so yeah, just mostly, that was kind of like how everything kind of converged together. And I'm self-taught with, with everything. I'm such a, I'm, I, I always say I'm a Cro-Magnon, but self-taught musician, self-taught audio engineer, self-taught artist. Um, and I just, well, everybody knows now, I just like breaking conventions whenever I see it. So, <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's him, you know? Oh, by the way, I'm going dark mode in honor of Paris Hilton. So let's go. <laughs> Boom. And I also got some vino. So. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, no, it's pretty early for me. So I wouldn't, um, so you left, when did you leave school? Like, uh, what, what was your school career like? Did you, you didn't do art school or anything like that? No, I mean, you know, you take art classes, you, you do all that stuff. But I mean, honestly, it was just, it was just more of a natural love for it. You know, I always just, honestly, when I was just working on canvases and stuff, I was always just like, let me get my 100, 160 gigabyte iPod and just press random and just go, you know? And one of my buddies actually, he he got me into it because I was like deathly afraid, you know. I was like, <laughs> in the beginning, I was like, oh man, I just I want to do it. But he's, he's like, well, you want to go to our garage and get drunk and paint? And I'm like, yeah, let's do that actually. And so like the very like the very first thing we did was like you know get the art supplies and stuff like that, and and then we had to go to Home Depot, which actually kind of that's actually kind of funny because there's you know the trash can, the Home Depot thing. But uh, we went to Home Depot and we were just we were getting some other stuff. And I was like, I saw paint removal knives, and I was like, I'm gonna paint with that. Since since since, since like I'm coming from the music world, I'm like already thinking like how to do it from a different perspective. And I just used that and then started making canvases out of you know paint knives and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was my first introduction. But like basically, it was just basically my music life and my artistic life at the same time just kind of converging and then when the crypto thing came about i was just you know all those three kind of just smashed together and um so yeah. how did you how did you get into crypto you mentioned that it was kind of 2014 was it obviously i'm, I'm guessing it was for bitcoin um but how yeah did, yeah how did that come about yeah i mean it was the the 2014 mega super rise like i had friends are going oh bitcoin went to a thousand i'm like at first I was going, this is bullshit, you know, like everybody, you know, this is complete bullshit. I got to check this out myself. And um, I, I had a buddy and I, I can't say his name, but I, I was at his, uh, I was at this coffee shop that were um, all of our buddies kind of can converge and stuff. And uh, he was sitting, <laughs> he was sitting on the couch, like in one of the, you know, the couches inside the place. And I'm sitting next to him. He's got a laptop open. Okay. And she's using Silk Road. Okay. Like, <laughs> legit like i got to see it with my own eyes like yeah like yeah. how it the mainframe operates and uh i'm like what are you ordering and of course i can't say what it was but uh i go you're what are you using to pay for this stuff he's like bitcoin i'm like are you fucking shitting me sorry i'm, I'm cursing right now no, no, but, no, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah I, I, that was literally what i said to him i go are you fucking shitting me and then uh i'm like okay and then that was like my i have to research everything about this and let's just here we go and then bit down the rabbit hole like everybody else like everybody knows the story who's been around that time you know so like for yeah. me it's like like saying it right now is like 
oh, I already know this story kind of thing. But but yeah, for everybody I mean, else, it's kind of like, I feel like the old curmudgeon talking about it, you know, like, oh, back in the old days. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, yeah, that's really kind of how it started. And then um, and then when the, the crypto art thing came about, uh, there was a, you know, there's a there's a token network called Counterparty. It still exists on, on Bitcoin. You can go there, counterwallet.io and check it out still acts like an old vhs tape player you know yeah. <laughs> but um but basically that was my first introduction to what tokenization was and so like during that time like i really had to uh kind of wrap my head around that concept like i was already trying to like figure out what the hell bitcoin was and just how that worked and then all of a sudden like you're talking about tokenization and burning tokens actually that was the first that was the first uh you know uh, introduction to burning tokens was counterparty yeah. like their whole pre-sale was we we're going to take 2000 bitcoins and then burn them and then make 22 million xcp tokens and i just didn't understand that i was like you're burning stuff what what and it sounded cool to me though so i just kept looking and then it finally 